So this next question relates to one of your blog posts. Can you tell us why being too clean is actually bad for our skin? Yes. Um, so, and it's interesting in the, the, the world we live in today, um, one of the problems that we saw with, was that the over sanitization, um, they've seen an increase in asthma, allergies, all this kind of stuff. So we become out of sync with our environment, especially as people are in their homes, they're not out in the woods, you don't put your hands in the dirt, you don't, you know, like we're just so detached from the, the exterior world. Um, and there's also some interesting theories that I've read and talked to other, um, some functional physicians about this idea that perhaps we did at one point live in harmony with certain types of parasites, but that as the body became more sensitized to different things, that's where we started to develop a lot more issues with them. Um, however, that said, you know, given that we're like in hyper sanitization mode right now, um, I do think that we have a major problem. People are seeing a real increase in hand eczema, um, a lot of hand dryness because we're using these very harsh hand sanitizers, some of which have chemicals that are toxic and are, we, there's warnings from the FDA about them and whatnot. But the overwashing of the hands, um, feeling like we need to wash ourselves down when we go outside, um, I think to some degree, it, it is fine to be cautious, but you know, like my mom will always say, oh, here's some hand sanitizer. I'm like, mom, I'm just going to wash my hands when I get home. Um, so just, I think you have to, and I'm not telling anyone what to do. I think you have to work within your own level of comfort. But to me, being clean is important. Not carrying germs in my house is very important and not making like my 73 year old mother whom I'm kind of responsible for sick is really important to me. But it doesn't mean that we spray our whole home with Lysol and Clorox and everything. So I think um, we just need to be cautious. There's some really interesting, I actually have two podcasts um, on the Healthy Skin Show from like I think April, one that's on hand washing and then the other that's on hand sanitizers and also some of the dangers of making them yourself, which was a really interesting thing. Um, but your listeners might be interested to learn about hypochlorous acid, which is made by your white blood cells. And it's used to, um, uh, they filter it into ORs in order to disinfect and it kills everything. So there are some products on the market that are hypochlorous acid and I actually bought one um, and it's interesting. It's like a gel. It looks like water almost, but a little thicker of a consistency. It doesn't burn, doesn't smell, doesn't anything. And um, it has the capacity to kill bacteria and viruses and whatnot. So that might be an interesting thing for, for your audience to check out.